Joe, I don't think I could have said it better myself. And that actually transitions perfectly into today's Talk of the Town. It's a global event with a mission of helping people discover the joy of looking at and loving art. It's happening this weekend in Bloomington Normal. Joining us to talk more about Slow Art Day, Michaela Harris and Santino Lamancusa. Thank you both for being here this morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks. All right, lots to talk about here. Super excited to talk about it. First of all, this is a really unique event. Tell us a little bit about what's going on, where it's happening, what people need to know. So all across Bloomington Normal, we're going to have 15 participating locations here on Saturday, the 15th of April. Um, Slow Art Day started in New York as an initiative to get people to go to more museums and art galleries and to slow down and really spend time with art. Um, our lives are very busy and usually you buzz right through. So um, downtown Bloomington and throughout Bloomington Normal has a rich history of art and we've coalesced a great group of art galleries, um, museums as well uh, to participate and invite people in. Now this is being touted as a global event. Mm -hmm. What is it that makes it global? Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's been participated uh, by 1,500 locations across the world. Wow, okay. <clears throat> yeah, it was uh, since its inception in 2010. And uh, last year, Bloomington Normal was the uh, first citywide coordinated event in its history. Uh, this year, we've nearly doubled the uh, amount of participating locations. Oh, my gosh. And this is obviously pulling a lot of different artists, but many of them are based here locally, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So how many artists are going to be represented? <laughs> if you had a ballpark, it sounds like there's going to be a lot. Uh, yeah, I think uh, easy to say probably 40 to 50 uh, different artists' work uh, can be seen uh, across the different locations. Gotcha. And speaking of work, we actually have some examples here um, in our studio as well. we got a little more information on your screen there. Just looking ahead to a bunch of different locations that Slow Art Day is going to be happening at. And, of course, this is all going to be free of charge. And um, one thing that to note, too, on the poster there, there's going to be kind of a, a wrap-up event, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, well, we're, uh, we're actually going to be hosting the closing reception at the Hangar Art Company uh, on uh, West Jefferson Street. Um, our neighbor at Mystic Kitchen uh, Tasting Room is actually going to be providing small bites and a cash bar for guests. We're going to have uh, art to give away. Uh, one of the pieces that just passed by up there was uh, a piece called Historic. Uh, that's our poster image, like you saw, and that's uh, one of the pieces that we're going to be uh, giving away to a lucky guest that comes out on Saturday. Definitely. I think Route 66, too, kind of takes prominence here. Is that sort of the underlying theme of the event as well? Absolutely. So all of these locations are right along Historic Route 66. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yep. we got a lot more to talk about. Um, we do have to take a quick break, but it is going to be Bloomington Normal Saturday, April 15th. Slow Art Day will be happening from 10 to 2. We'll have 15 local art organizations represented. It's the largest Slow Art Day event in the world. You're not going to want to miss it. Santino and Michaela will be right back with you guys in another half hour to talk even more about some beautiful pieces we have here in studio. We're going to touch more on some other questions that people might need to know about. Excellent. Perfect. Looking forward to it. And of course, if you or someone you know would like to join us on Talk of the Town, go to 25newsnow.com slash community and head that Talk of the Town tab and submit the form. And of course, we're celebrating some birthdays on this Thursday. We'll see who's blowing out those candles. And that's right. We've got some beautiful pieces of art here to highlight our Talk of the Town today, an upcoming event trying to help you fall in love with art just like these pieces here. And of course, take some time with it. Now we're being treated to a preview. We're joined by Santino and Michaela to give us a sneak peek of what you can expect on Slow Art Day. Welcome back, you guys. Hey, thanks again for having us. Absolutely. All right, so just to touch on it again, for those who may not have been listening in the first half hour, talk a little bit about Slow Art Day. What's the gist of it? Yeah, uh, at the heart, it's all about just um, encouraging people to come out and experience art and find that you don't really have to know anything about it to enjoy it. Absolutely. And, I mean, talk about enjoyment. I think there's a lot to enjoy about these pieces that you guys have brought in today. Mm -hmm. A lot to touch on, a bunch of different styles, different mediums. Tell me a little bit about a couple of the pieces that we're highlighting here. Yeah, so these are uh, a collection of works that we have available at the Hangar Art Company. Uh, we have four artists represented here. Jeff Bess, Ayana Zachary, Charlie Ruguski, Sheila Lamberson. All Central Illinois artists, all uh, living, producing art right there in Bloomington. Uh, these are just a small sample of some amazingly talented people we have there. Absolutely. It looks like we have some of these oils and then... Uh, so this is an original oil painting. Okay. Uh, acrylics on the left and bottom. Uh, this piece actually started out as a hand-carved uh, line-of-cut print. 
Um, this was one of Ayanna Zachary's work, so this was hand carved and then uh, printed. And uh, oh my gosh, yeah. okay. You know, it's funny you say that because now I'm starting to see some of the irregularities on the right side there, and mm -hmm. you can definitely tell the print. Okay, and you said these are all for sale, correct? Yep. Most of these artists are, like we were talking about earlier, they are locally based by and large, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is really something not just highlighting art itself, but highlighting some local artists too. I mean, talk about that part of it all. I mean, there's got to be some passion that lies in the fact that we're really bringing to light all the talent that we have in our area, right? And we have a wide diversity of talent too in mediums. We obviously brought a lot of paintings today. Our, uh, people watching at home earlier saw some sculptures. Um, People can really expect to see a little bit of everything on Slow Art Day, and we're really proud and honored to be a part of the community that produces such great works right in downtown Bloomington. Absolutely, and this is going to be scattered through several different locations as well. What are some of the spots that people can stop by and see? Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a outdoor sculpture garden at 410 South Madison. Uh, we have the home of artist Tom Kirk. Uh, usually it's uh, rare to get an inside glimpse into the amazing things he's built there. That's the house on Garland Street. We have the uh, History Museum, the cultural centers. Uh, there's just a wide variety of studios and spaces to experience art. And you were mentioning earlier, Santino, there's kind of a wrap-up event too, some hors d'oeuvres maybe, yeah. different offerings. We're super excited. Our uh, neighbors downtown at Mystic Kitchen, uh, they're going to be providing some small bites, uh, cash bar. Folks are welcome. Uh, even if you don't have a chance to, to make the art, you're missing out. Uh, but join us at that closing reception. Uh, you'll have a chance to meet a lot of the artists, a lot of the locations. Everybody's coming together to just celebrate the day. And then from each of you, I mean, just to tie it all together, what excites you the most about being able to hold something like this? <laughs> That's quite the question. Um, I think it's exciting to be able to see that there are people and there are artists expressing themselves creatively and very uniquely uh, in Bloomington, normal. Um, when I grew up, I didn't really think that, oh, central Illinois is not really where you're going to be an artist, but that is very far from the truth. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I, I think a lot of us realize the success of coming together for activities like First Fridays in downtown Bloomington, and we wanted to find another uh, opportunity to uh, work together and, and create something for folks to enjoy. And plenty to enjoy, as we're just seeing a small sample of it here, but there's plenty more on Slow Art Day to check out. We're going to have the information on your screen here in just a moment. It's going to be Saturday the 15th from 10 to 2. 15 local art organizations represented the largest slow art day event in the world. That is not a small feat. You can go to slowartday.com for more info. Santina and Michaela, thank you both so much for being here today. This is so exciting. Love this. And uh, there's going to be plenty to see. Yeah. Thanks for having thank us. You. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll be back in just a little bit.